Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Arigus and Andrea Penica. This is a game from the World Junior Championship played in Italy in 2022. Anything important happened to you in 2022? Arigus held white pieces and he started with d4. Andrea Penica played knight to f6, knight to c3, c5, and now d5, g6, e4. The old Benoni, d6, bishop to b5, check, bishop to d7, a4, bishop to g7, white to move. Knight to f3 is the most played move. Arigus played f4. Bishop takes on b5. A takes on b5. Knight from b to d7. Queen to e2. Intending e5 at the right time. Castling. Knight to f3. Knight to e8. Play with the white pieces. Arigus castled king side 2. Knight to c7. White to move. e5. Knight to b6. If d takes on e5, f takes on e5. And this line is also good for white. Back to our game. Knight to b6. Rook to d1. Queen to d7. Bishop to e3. Developing the bishop and connecting rooks. f6. Intending to break the white center. White to move, to take or to play e6, what would you do? e6 was played, and this move gives white too much of the space advantage. Queen to e8, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Let's play a random move for white. If king to h1, then f5, and black would have a more comfortable position. Black would be doing fine probably. Back to our game. That is why player with the white pieces played f5. This is a brilliant pawn sacrifice. This move is totally cramping to black's position. G takes on f5. Knight to h4. f4. This is another important moment. It is white to move. What would you do? I guess the first move that comes to mind is bishop takes pawn. Do you agree? Well, if bishop takes on f4, black would play f5. And even then, white is better, but black would be able to fight back a little bit. Back to our game. In this position, Play with the white pieces, play this brilliant knight to f5 move, black to move, king to h8, let's take it back. What's wrong with taking the bishop? If f takes on e3, what happens then? Then queen to g4, tightening checkmate. If queen to g6, then knight takes on e7, check, winning the black queen. Back to our game. So player with the black pieces played king to h8. Bishop takes on f4. Rook to g8. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move. White. White. Play the move. And black resigned. And the move is... Bishop takes pawn on d6. Kaboom! Player with the black pieces resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes bishop and then knight takes on d6, attacking the queen. If the queen goes to a safe spot, then knight to f7 check. And this would force black to give up the queen to prolong the game. Wow! What a brilliant game! What do you think? of this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.